Woo! My team is getting their ass whooped that I got put on. This is terrible. Uh, we're playing World at War, and this game possibly might be one of my favorite Call of Duties. Uh, it's years old, and I still find myself playing it, uh, especially a lot here lately. I've, oh man, I've been on a kick about playing older Call of Duties. Uh, uh, excuse me, uh, I'm eating ice cream. It's like 4 o'clock in the morning. Eating ice cream, and I have nothing to drink in front of me uh, for some reason. So, like, my throat's all, like, dry and fucked up and shit. Uh, Call of Duty 4 is a no-go. It's, like, nearly impossible to get in a match with, you know, X amount of people and play, you know, like a decent game. Like, it's really tough to find one. Uh, it's actually pretty tough sometimes on World at War because so many people are uh, hacking it and, you know, like you're zooming around the damn map. And I actually had some, uh, some gameplay of it. I got in this room and we were all playing normal and then just like, boom, we were like zooming across the map. And, uh... Yeah, I had it, but that was uh, before my laptop caught the virus and I had to reset it. So, uh, yeah, I don't have it anymore, but I pretty much record every time I get on World at War. So, uh, hopefully, I can get some for y'all and show y'all pretty much what World at War is mostly like uh, when you try to find a match. But... When you get on, you can pretty much find a match with people who are just playing. And it's so nice to go back and play an old Call of Duty. Especially a fucking good one like World at War. World at War is... Uh, let me quote. World at War is that hot fire. I absolutely fucking love World at War. And I really hope they come out with a World at War 2 instead of Black Ops 3. Uh, if you've watched my previous videos, uh, I said it in one of them. I fucking hope it's World at War 2. I don't know how they do it, uh, but we'll leave that up to the professionals to figure that out. And hopefully, the boys at Treyarch can make that happen. And, ah, that'd be awesome. I'd be fucking ecstatic about it. That would be awesome. Uh, who else, like, still plays World at War? Uh... That would be, like, pretty awesome to, like, play World at War with some people who are subscribed to my channel and stuff. I think that'd be pretty cool. Uh, I want to start playing more with people that are subscribed to my channel. Uh, but with me working nights, you know, it's kind of hard sometimes for me to, like, get on the same schedule as some people. So, uh, that does make it tough. And I apologize for that. I work nights, so, you know, not really much I can do about it besides changing shifts. And uh, let's just be honest here. Uh, if you know me personally, you know I suck at morning time. So day shift is really not for me. Uh, night shift just works so much better. Especially when we're on eights and I ain't got you know, a girlfriend or anything to do. Man, I get off at 11.30 and I can come home and make videos and stay up till about 4 or 5, go to sleep, wake up at about 12 or 11 or 10, you know, whatever, and go to work at 3. It works out fantastic for me. And honestly, I like night shift better than I do days. I feel better on day shift. I'm always fucking tired always exhausted and you know uh people's told me that my friends have told me that my uh, girlfriends you know <coughs> excuse me my throat is killing me right now um yeah but i'm gonna be uploading a lot of world at war gameplay so i'm sorry if you hate the game uh, you know, sorry not sorry, I'm going to do it, and it's going to be awesome. I love the game, and I think a whole lot of people like the game more than they will admit it to, you know, 
uh, another gamer or whatever because I used to catch a lot of shit for playing World at War and I've actually got some of those people uh, to admit that World at War is a fucking good game compared to the other Call of Duties. Uh, <coughs> God, fuck. Woo, my throat is killing me. I'm gonna have to get some water or something after this. Uh, but I don't really know where I'm going with this. Uh, I fucking love World at War, and I hate these little bastards, the dogs. Uh, I don't know if it's just me, but the dogs in World at War seem a whole lot more vicious than they do in uh, Black Ops and Black Ops 2. I think I think that's how they call it, dudes. They were in, yeah. Black Ops and Black Ops 2. I don't know. They seem pretty legit in this, uh, but I mean, it is a legit ass game. Uh, can't really praise it enough. I think it's just an overall good game. Everything's pretty balanced, and the team I'm on sucks. So we can pretty much confirm that too. Uh, but anyways, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Uh, more World at War is coming your way. Peace.